Hello everyone, welcome back to another Android development tutorial. In this video, we're actually going to be going over adding items to your recycler view um, through the UI. So let's jump right in. We're going to need a way to enter data and for, um, for that data that we entered to um, change uh, the state of our recycler view. So we will add two UI elements. First thing we need to do though is we're gonna change the, we're gonna add um, the edit text and the button above our recycler view. So let's go ahead and change how, um, how large this is. So we're gonna, instead of match parent, it's, um, instead of having the layout be match parent, um, we're actually going to have it match the constraint. So we're going to constrain it. And then same thing um, with, we did it with the width, now we're gonna do it with the height. So we're gonna bring it down, the bottom to the bottom, and before we do the top, let's add um, our edit text. So we can just take our plain text, and there we go. Let's wait for that to load. We're going to uh, constrain the left side to the left side of uh, the container. Uh, or the parent in this case, and then we will take, we will add a button. All right. And then that to the right, and then the top to the top. Okay, so now we can take our recycler view and constrain it to, let's do the bottom of this. There we go. Okay, now it's showing up. So let's go ahead and make sure these are properly identified. So this edit text, we can say ET for edit text, and then we can call this um, um, items or item. Yeah, we'll just call it ET item for edit text item. All right, and then um, we wanna say yes to make sure that that change is reflected in the code. And then the button, um, instead of button two, we'll say BTN, enter. And then we can change the text as well to enter. Okay. All right. So now that we have this set up, let's actually change this text to be nothing. And then we'll actually have a little hint here. Let's see right here. We can say enter an item. Cool. All right, there we go, that's our placeholder text. So now we can go into our main activity and we need to, um, we need to add our text when the button is pressed. So we're gonna be focusing on the button and we'll set an on click listener. And then inside this on click listener, we need to add, um, we need to add what we have to the list. So we can say uh, my list. If you remember how to add an item to the list, you just call the extension method add, and then we need to enter a string. So we can say edit text item, and then call the text property, and then we can convert that to a string, and there we go. So unfortunately, um, this is not an observable, and uh, this uh, this list is not an observable collection. So what we need to do is we need to notify our recycler view that the data set has changed, so it will um, show our data. So um, we can actually tell the adapter, since the adapter is holding that information, we can. We need to create a variable, as we've done so right here, um, a, a value for my adapter, which is equal to my list adapter, passing the context and the list. And then we've set the recycler view adapter to this variable. Okay, so now my adapter, and then we just uh, can call the extension method notify data set has changed. This will tell the adapter, hey, your list is been, has been updated. Um, go ahead and display that. So let's go ahead and run this and see what we get.
And while we're, while we're waiting for that to run, we can go ahead and take a look at our adapter again. Um, inside of our adapter, we just have the three basic methods um, on create view holder, uh, get item count, and on bind view holder. So if you're at all confused as to what the adapter does, go ahead and check out um, my video regarding the basic recycler view, and I go through all of that. All right, so let's check um, our app. All right, it says enter an item. So we can just say something like an item, very original. So we hit enter, and there we go. So we've just added an item to our recycler view. We can add another item and there we go so as you can see as we press enter we keep adding items um, from our edit text all right well I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, if you have any questions um, leave them in the comments below or email me directly um, and hope to see you guys in the next one.